Hey, what's up YouTube? Gonna change the uh, rear differential fluid in this Honda Ridgeline 2022. This is Generation 2, so stay tuned. At this 2022 Honda Ridgeline, we got maintenance due for B16 rear differential fluid. Um, mine came on just over 17,000 miles, so that's what we're gonna do today. So here we go, off your ass and on your feet. All the little birdies go tweet, tweet, tweet. Let's uh, save about $75 and do this ourselves. All right, so we got it parked on level ground here, concrete floor, no need to lift it. I'll show you what we need to do this. All right, check your owner's manual. My rear differential called for this dual pump Honda fluid too. We got the crush washers. You need to use a new one, top one, 20. The fill is 20 millimeter. The bottom drain, 18 millimeter. You can see what I paid for these shipped. I think this was, yeah, it was an eBay purchase. And then I got this for under 10 bucks, just a little um, pump. And I'm going to store it in this little bag when I'm done and I've labeled it what it's going to be used for. I'll just keep it for that. And then we got, I got a breaker bar. They said from the factory, these can be a little tight. Six inch, perfect fit. Uh, so I've been told to do this job. And then we got the breaker bar and then of course the torque. Torque spec for this, we got to go to 35. So we can see the 30 on here. And what we want to do is you got the, the, Hash mark right beside the 30 and it kicks down. The bottom one is actually the 30 where it resides. So to set this for 35, we're going to run it up to 30. Match up the line with the zero here. Boom. There we go. We're at 30. Then we're just going to go to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then, of course, we'll twist our lock. All right, let's get under this truck. All right, here we go. Going to get underneath here. Let me flip this up. All right. So I got my drain in place to catch the fluid. I put a light in here so you guys can see um, exactly what's going on. But up here's our differential, rear differential case. And you can see right here is a drain, just takes three inch. So once we loosen that, that crush out washer obviously is, has been compressed. So it's damaged. We'll need a new one. That'll be our drain and the vent and fill is uh, let's see we got here's our gas tank right up above the gas tank you know we got the little uh, pass through hole right here and then if we line it up we can see the plug right there is three eighths also and it's pretty tight so the three eighths i just got an adapter onto this this six inch extension right here and then i got a half inch breaker to fit the adapter for the 3 8 square slot of course we'll go in the plug so i'll break that loose and start draining so, turn this dude to the left just to break it loose this breaker bar makes it a lot easier because that thing is tight and i wanted to film that just so you guys could hear just how tight that is Okay, so from this point, it's just I can just twist it out here with the extension. My fingers take this loose. All right, so we got it came off with the crush washer on it. Now, what some people do after they drain it, um, which I'll drain here next, but what they'll do is put the plug back in with the original crush washer. Drain plug in after they've put oil in it, of course. Run it to work the air out and then see if it needs topped off. If this accepts the two quarts, I know it calls for 1.92. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead, put the new crush washer on, button it up because this will self vent. All right, now for the drain plug. Move this like so. Just to make it easier, give me a little more room to get to it since I'm not leaking anything out of the vent, of course, or the fill valve. I'm getting too fat to get out of this truck. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can just break it loose with this 3 8 here. Okay. 
broke loose with the three eights. So again, now that that's broke loose, you just turn it around here. And we'll twist this out. So that drain comes out of there. Boom. There she goes. And there's her plug. So there it is. It's draining out. I'll let it drain for a bit, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to take a lint-free rag and wipe this um, metallic uh, drain plug off. All right, there it is. Let's see what's on there. A little bit on it. There's these. All right. This off here. Get her cleaned off. This crush washer off. Grab my new one, which is the 18 millimeter. Go ahead, slip that on. All right. Looks like she slowed down. And give this wipe off. And get that started in there. All right. All right. There's that. Move this out of the way a bit. I'm just quit dripping, so I'll give it a little, just a little, a little snug there. All right, now we're ready to torque it. Let's see if I get this in here without knocking my camera over. It got me a shorter extension. It wouldn't fit in there with just the torque wrench alone, so I had to have an extension, but the other one was too long catching me in that tailpipe, so I got it. And just with this truck not being jacked up, you don't get a lot of room with your torque wrench, but I got enough. It's catching the gears. The gears and the torque wrench. This is going to take me a little while. Work this thing in. There it is. Get that dude out. So that's torqued. All right. So now I got to put my uh, hydraulic pump into my little um, fluid bottle. We'll fix that and then we can pump it in and start filling this up. Capacity is 1.92 quarts. And of course you have some residual in the bottle. So I'm just going to use both of them completely full. And that should bring it up to the top of that hole or really close. And then we'll put our plug back in, torque it down to 35 foot pounds. All right, time to get the uh, upper fill plug or cap back in there, whatever we want to call it. Got it wiped off, got the new crush washer on there. Ah, it's off. That level is right to the top. Good deal. Let's line this plug up. 
I'm just using the extension. And it started smoothly. So there's hand tight. Set to 35 foot pounds. Lock her in. Just steady and up here on the left. Should torque on the right side. There we go. She's torqued. Wipe off the evidence that I changed it. <laughs> Just because I like All right, let's see if we can see if we can reset this maintenance minder. I think we just go over here, go to menu. <clears throat> now we want to go to home. And we want to go to settings. And we got vehicle. Scroll down, maintenance info, oil filter, all wheel drive oil. No, we don't want to reset that yet. We got 10% left. All right. So I've done the tire rotation, I've done the all white wheel drive oil. As soon as I get the oil and filter changed, I could come in here and hit the reset and that would take care of that. But I'm gonna wait a little bit. I still got 10% life on my oil change, so I'm gonna wait for that one. But All right, guys, hope that help, helped out. You know, we just saved ourselves 75 bucks. So we can go and just get, that's three more ounces of silver added to the stack. So you guys take care, peace out.